It was a cold December night when the stars disappeared from the sky. The night was abandoned to darkness, and dreamers had nothing left to wish upon. All that remained were four constellations of the zodiac, Aries, Pisces, Taurus, and Libra. The four took on human form and descended to Earth, consulting with the planet's greatest detectives with the hopes of finding out the truth of where the others went. You are one of these detectives. However, the four signs cannot work together. Their temperaments are, unfortunately, quite incompatible. They have decided to split the detectives into four teams. You have been placed onto the water team. Oh, oh, hi everyone, it's Pisces here. Oh, I'm so excited to see that you've all picked my team. Now, I know my colleagues can be a bit overbearing, and, well, all of their fighting can get a bit intimidating, so... Well, I'm just glad that you're all here with me. Now, I know the others have clear plans for figuring out what happened, but... Well, I think a lot of them are just missing out on the importance of emotion, you know? I just think if we really get in touch with what they were feeling when they disappeared, well, then we can begin to understand them better. You know, I'm looking around, and I can see that some of you are a bit unclear on exactly what's going on here. I understand that. <laughs> Taurus and Aries fought so much when we were writing those mission briefs that, well, I know they're a bit confusing and kind of hard to follow. I'll try to catch you up. As all of you already know, um, a few days ago, all of the stars disappeared from the sky. Well, I mean, almost all of them. For some reason, Aries, Taurus, Libra, and I were the only ones left. We found out that the others all took on human form for various reasons, and they all came to Earth. So, well, we took on human form, too, and decided to follow them to, to figure out, well, why they left us. I mean, how horrible, right? I can't imagine how scared they all must be right now down here. And well, what horrible emotions led them to leave the sky in the first place? So, well, we recruited all of you, some of Earth's best detectives, to help us go over the documents they left behind and help us figure out where they went, why they left, and, well, what we can do to convince them to come back. We prepared a hub where you can access all of these documents. For now, we're just going to focus on a few letters that we found in Cancer's room. Um, if you click on the link in the comments down there, um, then you can read through them. And you can use the text chat over here to discuss them. Um, so hopefully you can help us figure out the puzzle um, because there is a puzzle somewhere in these letters. We know that the name of the person who wrote them is encoded in them and well, we just, we can't figure it out ourselves. So, well, hopefully you can help us. So I'm just gonna read the letters out to you. Um, forewarning, they're, they're very emotional so I might get a little bit carried away. The first one's called Sight. Our recent parting was so cruel. I have never connected with anyone the way I connected with you last night. Just the sight of you now is enough to remind me why I bother continuing to live this long and arduous life. Every moment spent wrapped in the pain of existence is worth it for one moment I could spend with you. I've spent my whole life staring at the earth from above. The earth, framed by all of the other stars in the sky, seemed like the most beautiful thing anyone could gaze upon and I considered myself blessed for being given such an amazing view. Now I realize that all of this beauty is nothing compared to what I feel when I look in your eyes. Alas, our love is not allowed to be. Astral law number 23 clearly states that zodiac constellations are not allowed to have romantic relationships with each other. It is my hope that we can continue our love in secret through these letters. I long for the next time I hear from you. Sincerely, your true love. The second one is called Calling Out. I haven't heard back from you, and I'm concerned that my last letter didn't make it safely. I asked a trusted messenger to deliver it directly to your hands instead of leaving it on your doorstep. This may be too risky, but it's, it's worth it to make sure you hear my words. The way I felt when I spoke with you was like nothing I've experienced before. I've spent my whole life not caring what others think, shaking off others' opinions like rainwater from a damp umbrella. Talking with you was truly the first time I really cared about someone. And I'm really sorry, everyone. I just can't read these last two. They're just, they're just too sad, and it's just too much for me. Um, they're there on your screen, so you can read them your own, uh, at your own pace. Um, the next one's called Resting in Pieces, and the last one's called In or Out. 
um, and they're just too much. They they try to make this plan, and then the person who wrote the letters is worried that the other person doesn't love them, and, and it's just too much. There is one more letter we found in Cancer's possession. It's in different handwriting from the rest. So we know it was written by Cancer and not by the person who wrote the other letters. And it just says, love is a lie. I just really hope that all of you great detectives can can look over these letters with me and try to maybe help me figure out their code. Because the faster we figure out the code, the faster we can figure out who sent them, the faster we can figure out where our friends went, and hopefully the faster we can get them back. So thank you all for your help, and, and hopefully we can get this case solved together.